friends, welcome back to Zwittyville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zwittyville. I am Zwitty Pie, and today we are back with Mod With Me, which is going to change a little bit this year. Um, before, I just did Mod With Me when new packs came updated and stuff like that, or um, a new update came for one of the mods that I had in my game. So, if you want to start from scratch from where I am, I would go back to the beginning of Mod With Me, in where I talk about all the mods and everything I have in my game and that'll bring you up to speed to where I am today which is now where we're gonna change mod with me into where I'm gonna go through a mod weekly with you on what I think about it how it's um, changed my game or whatever and I've been playing off screen with the slice of life mod as you can see she is wearing a face mask and um, I have some opinions about it and we're gonna go through that but first let me introduce you to the new um, mod with me model that's gonna be Samira Cecilia Ramirez let's take her into cast because another part of mod with me is gonna be clothing oh, and yeah, she is clothes. all decked out in CC clothing um, there's only one outfit that is not CC and I will let you know when we get there um, so this is her everyday <laughs> outfit, total CC there. Um, her formal, which is, I usually do max this match, and this is more on the alpha side, but I do find it to be very pretty. Um, the detailing is just gorgeous. Um, I wish it was a little bit shorter so that it wouldn't look so funky when she walks, but I do love it, so I did keep it in my game. Then we have her um, athletic, sleepwear, her party outfit, her swimwear outfit, hot weather, and her winner. Winner is not CC the outfit. Um, the shoes and the rest of her are, but not the outfit. The outfit is from Snowy Escapes. And it does change to different colors um, and stuff. So that is a snowy skate palette. I just think it looked really nice on her and went with her motif. So I kept it. Um, bring you in so you can see a bit of her face here. She is an absolutely gorgeous sim. Her hair is on the verge of alpha, which I do have some hairs like this from this creator. Um, but I do like it. I think it's like half fish maxis match and half fish alpha um but i do love the way it is so i'm keeping it in my game now cecilia ramirez was not created by me so if you love her go give the creator real love and let's give that creator a shout out um on the gallery she is kareen cc is the name of this lady and her creator is 12 mitch 06 so she did an absolutely beautiful job and I just loved her and then I changed her up a bit I did put my change ups on the gallery so if you'd like to have her she is on the gallery for you um, and then her house is up on my gallery as well it's Upland Place which is in Delso Valley and it is loaded with CC in it as well, which we are about ready to take a tour of for you. Um, so let's get back to game and let's go take a tour. Um, another thing with Mod With Me that is going to change a bit is some of the mods we're going to review are CC um, packs that will have furniture and stuff like that and build stuff in it. So... Um, I did want to go ahead and do our house and a lot of CC so let's put up the walls here and then like not get in the wall there hopefully I can turn and not be in the wall so the counters are all CC this is counter and slash some base game stuff so it is ah, I knew I'd get in the wall I get in the wall every time even though I try not to we're in another room there we go beautiful living area here gorgeous and this entry area i mean look at that that's just like so beautiful i wish the game would have some stuff like this would be really nice 
Um, believe it or not, this stuff here is all a nursery set, but I put it at the entranceway and looked really good. Um, in here, I made her computer room. And we'll just have to do like an upward view. Um, CC bookcase, which is like a tree. That was a nursery set, believe it or not. CC computer, which is a three screen computer, really nice. Um, bathroom here, which um, the countertops are CC here and the floor is CC. And then the bedroom is mainly all CC here um, besides the wallpaper and flooring. But it is beautiful. The curtains even look like wind is blowing them. And then we got this over here, which believe it or not, it's a nursery set too, but I just really like it. So this is her house. Um, I know I went kind of through it a little fast, but we'll get to go through it. So let's have her come and we'll show off the computer. Play games and scuffle. And it does light up all three screens as you can see the gameplay just goes across it's really neat um, it is a level 8 computer and it is breakable so it does break on your sims from time to time but it is a level 8 which gives them the skill faster um, which I mean it's a three screen look at it it's upgraded it should um, but that is really really great I really like that one. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is the Slice of Life mod, which my microphone was off so I already started this. So you click on your sim and you click Slice of Life and then there would have been a cycle one here, I mean body care, and under body care would have been to quit a menstrual cycle because you get periods with this mod. which. If you want hyper realism, yeah, it is. I just find it absolutely annoying and hate it. Just absolutely hate it. Um, is it seems like every couple Sims days they're having a period and it lasts two Sim days and then they're stinky all the time. The whole town is stinky all the time. I really don't like it. So that part of the mod could like really be ditched for me. And as you can see, let's get her to come out over here. Okay, you're done playing, Cecilia. Um, she does have acne from the Slice of Life mod. And normally, when you go into Slice of Life and you do skin tears and you do the one-time treatment, um, it will take off it. Um, I haven't done this one... Um, has it mainly choose to wear a mask and then mainly remove it? If you do the one-time treatment, it will go on and then it will just fade after two hours. Um, and then you can buy the sheet mask and put them in your inventory and then use them from there. Um, but let's do the weekly treatment for her. And there you go. She's wearing a face mask. That should help with her acne. It should go away. Um, time for her routine. Cecilia just did their weekly skin treatment. Um, you also get the wellness skill. See right here is her menstrual cycle. It'll look like that. It has that on there. Um, sheet mask for second, two hours. Seaweed mask, face mask are the perfect skincare treatment to help prevent acne. Um, having fun, doing the best part of life is being able to do what you love. Um, freedom, Cecilia won't get periods anymore. This one is doing what I love. This one is having fun because they are doing what they love and that also makes them happy. Acne immunity, um, yeah, she didn't get that, but she got the buff. Um, this sim can always count on their intuition. So we are going to grab her a CC job. Because in this CC, we are going to have CC careers that we are going to go over. So I have a couple in my game. I have Art Appraiser. Um, let me see here. Fashion and Modeling. This model. A 
a salon ultimate animator ultimate beauty designer and a wedding planner career um i have not play tested all of these out i just put them in my game and said these are the few we're going to go through first so we're slowly going to go through them i'll slowly play them give you my feedback on them but let's grab her one um should we do fashion and modeling and you love spending time pampering yourself it's just sad it stops there but you come to work at the salon you can pamper other people um be a nail technician hairdresser beautician ultimate beauty looking good is good business hairdressing is only part of it beauty is a billion dollar industry with multiple segments of career paths the client base is everyone and never ending and the pay is substantial plus the beauty industry is all about making people look great sounds like a fun career that's full of a win okay um let's do salon because i like that you can do a nail technician a hairdresser and a beautician so you kind of doing it all okay oh she's gonna go look at the curtains okay you do that um so she doesn't have anything she needs to do for that job she works in 20 hours uh, monday through friday job nine to five which seems about normal so um, off screen, I will play that a bit and walk Starlight Boulevard. Ooh, become happy. Okay. We'll let her do this. So I'm going to slowly play her while we do this. Um, as for the Slice of Life mod, other things you can do with it. Um, smartphone, apps. You can get different apps and play games and stuff, make your sim happy. Um, you can text, um, cues of plastic surgery, argue with looks, call, call ugly, compliment looks, ask for pancakes, send nude photos, send food, send money, um, and like people will send you money and stuff. Social media, manage, post self-love quotes. And she'll just get on her phone here. And post a few things. And Cecilia gained 200 followers and fame. Um, I did that in the last one. And she, like, got fame for the first time. So, um, as you see, there are a few things that she already has. She started that, that little fame perk there. So... Um, these are from the other creator, and I can't cheat and get them all, so she just got some extra free bonuses. Lucky her. And she has 21 days to aging up. And as you see, there's her genealogy, so that is her... That is what we're going to change mod to me with. Um, let's get her out here. And let's do some slice of life stuff. Um, fitness, you can check uh, Cecilia's body fat weight. She gets on her phone. Quit going in there to look at the curtains. You are so fascinated with them. And as you see, her face mask is deteriorating some. Um, let's see. She should have got a buff. Small size. From checking weight, Cecilia is a small size. If you are comfortable with your body type, then you don't have to change a thing. So that's what she got from that. You just get buffs for that one. Um, body care, if she's sick, you can take sickness medicine or you can go to the hospital. Um, under control panel, um, they'll get stumpy flu, um, you'll get drunk buffs, um, invites, 
um, you get personality stuff where you can pick or remove toxic ones. Um, you can go shopping, you can buy a wig, outfits, formals, makeups, natural wigs, pajamas, party outfits. And if you do this, she'll come home wearing them, which I find is great. Um, but other than that, Slice of Life just shows up in your game as you're playing. Um, she really loves those curtains. Dang. I'll just let her look at them for a minute. Maybe she'll get over herself. Or maybe not. Okay. There. The treatment took care of her acne. So she don't have acne anymore. If I scroll down to her here. There she is. Alright, girl. Come play some scuffle. I can't stand to see you just staring at the flipping curtains. Do something with your life. Um, but she doesn't have a lot of friends or anything right now or family. If she had family or friends, it would pop up a lot. Um, the other thing I find annoying about the mod is they do ask you to do things like, Hey, do you want to go do something? And you click OK, then it'll come up with a list of you can go to the bar the gym movies different things like that and you have an hour and then she'll just take off and she gets different moodlets and buffs and things like that from it which is really nice i really do enjoy that part however if you have a lot of friends and family it goes off all the time so i wish i could figure out if there's a way to slow it down so it's not all the time because I do like it as just it's constantly and I don't like that part so would I leave slice of life mod in my folder yes and no if I'm doing a challenge it's not as if it makes the game hard hard but I wouldn't just because it is a little bearing and overwhelming um, like I said, if she has a lot of friends or family, um, it does come up quite a bit. So playing like a Generation 1 with Slice of Life mod, not bad at all. You start getting into Generation 2, 3, 4, you got brothers and sisters and friends all calling you. You got grandparents, you you got them all and they're like bombarding you and it, it's heavy. It is heavy. Um... So if anyone knows if there's a way to slow that down, leave that down below for me because I ain't figured that one out. Um, if you click on the bed, you can self woohoo in with uh, this mod too. So, and then there's um, hook up in bed when you start to um, get a relationship with someone which i mean the different things it adds in game you would just have to really play with it to see what i'm talking about because unless i sit here and record for a very long time you're not going to see everything but there are different things that she can do we'll see if um someone's walking the neighborhood yeah someone's walking it's a kid that's not gonna help me um, is that a kid too? Yes. Everybody's a kid. Any adults out walking? Okay, here's an adult. Oh, and it's an Akira. I like Akira. So you can exchange names, introductions. So let's do that. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will talk to you later. Um, uh, no. Exchange names, introduction. There we go. We caught it. I'm Cecilia. I don't really share my last name with strangers, though. Nice to meet you, though, Akira. 
So it gives you different quotes in game and stuff, which are really nice. Um, the Decided Cure's Life is a different mod. I'm, I'm checking out a few. Um, check on Akira, that's this mod. I'm alright, Cecilia. I just have some things I'm dealing with. Thank you for checking on me. Um, talk about overcoming insecurities. Ask for money. I mean, we don't know him much, but he might give us some money. We'll ask. It's usually not much. So, at $12,016, he gave us 26 um, and there's a give money to um, complain about acne, ask Akira's income, ask for reassurance, ask Akira's personality type, hook up with. So this is getting him to hook up with somebody. Um, Ask if Akira wants kids, ask if he's had woohoo, ask about siblings, ask about children, um, complain about acne, ask to follow Simstagram, just reading out all the ones that I'm pretty sure are the mod, um, talk about overcoming insecurities, um, We'll do that one. Ask about his insurance. I have nothing. He has nothing. Um, ask to stargaze. No. Come on. Akira is one of my favorite people in game to hook up with. Not going to lie. So she will probably hook up with him. He makes really beautiful children. <laughs> so tense. Bats from seeing bats. It didn't bite me, did it? Um, stars illuminated by the stars. Looking at the vast sky brings inspiration that anything is possible. So there's a lot of bats in this area. <laughs> and romance. Let's give him a pickup line. Ebso Nooch. Uh-huh. Uh -uh. Nope, we don't know him uh -huh. good enough yet. Uh -huh. wow. Talk about overcoming insecurities. Hey. Discuss oh, interest. Favorite Sal. band. Talk about the warm temperature. I'm just trying to get things up a bit. I'm just gonna get rid of that. What is it? Bernard we could dub Sir Bob. Um get to know Lomish Anquam Ask for reassurance. Smooth recovery. Discuss latest games. Okay. <laughs> Tell a gross joke. Ask about career. Tell a dramatic story. No career. Discuss favorite band. <laughs> Propose crazy scheme. Tell unbelievable story. Okay. Now. Here. So we'll ask to follow on Instagram. She gained a new follower. Hook up in bed. So we have no flirtiness at all. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, this works. No beam. And Org. there's no room in the bedroom for it to happen. So.
so I have something blocking back at the house. There we go. Let's try that again. That is under the romance. There's a risky hookup in bed and a hookup in bed. So let's try that again. The shabby pants. <laughs> Norfolk. <laughs> Shufaza. Nope, I have something Boy, I... blocking it. So I'll figure that out off camera. Um, romance. Ask him about the relationship. I really don't know how I feel, but I do enjoy my time with you. Tell him a funny story. We lost a bit, so. Old pickup line. She's being confident. Hey, I'm not done with you. Old pickup line. It is like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right, now he's flirting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Compliment appearance. <laughs> Flirt with him. Trying to get a couple more of the interactions to pop up for you guys. Um, confess attraction. Embrace. Embrace. Flirt. And we're just now getting the flirtiness to come in. Exchange numbers. And we'll just let it go. So you see, it's, it's, it's really not a mod that you can really showcase too easily. You really have to play it to get the full effect of this mod um, come over here and cook garden salad you can be done um, so I mean honestly it's not a bad mod but it is overbearing after generation one but if you are just starting you're playing generation one generation two is not too bad you, you start going after that, and uh, it really is um, kind of annoying. But I'm going to put her down, and I'm going to end this episode here. If there's a mod or anything that you guys would like to see or have me review um, for the next mod with me next week, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget why you're here to smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to share it with any friends or family members that you think will like it just as much as you did. And until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetie-licious day. Bye, guys!